Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. About once a month, Ubiquity releases this UI innovations video to their YouTube channel. This usually features some new gear, and this month it looks like they're doing the Unify EV station, which is for our electric vehicles. Myself, I don't have an EV and I don't know a whole ton about them, but let's watch the video together and then I'll tell you my thoughts. Electric vehicles are here to stay, but how will organizations support them? Introducing Unify EV Charging, the world's first EV charging platform specifically designed for organizations. Unify EV stations are seamlessly integrated within the Unify OS experience, providing thorough monitoring and granular permission control for admins to determine exactly who has access and when. And with the UI mobile app, organization members can start charging their electric vehicles with a single touch of a button. Ubiquity, rethinking IT. Okay, and that was about a 45 second video and there wasn't too much, but they showed a couple electric vehicles as well as their charging stations. This is what the charging station looks like and it is currently available in the early access store, although it is sold out like most of their other EA products. We can see on the screen of the electric charger, the Ubiquity logo, the EV station, and then it says plug the charging connector into the vehicle to start charging. As well, it says powered by Ubiquity. And I do like the design of it, it is very nice. On this screen, we can see a bunch of different electric vehicle chargers. We could see the room they put it in and then the mode either locked or charging. And this is all integrated within Unify Connect, which is an application that's currently also in early access. They have shown off a few different screens for Connect before. When they click on one of the electric vehicle chargers, this brings up our interface to be able to do some configuration with it. It looks like any other Ubiquity device where it has the name, model status, and the firmware. When they click on insights, this is showing us power usage over time, and then it shows us our charging activity, which is really cool. We have a couple different charging modes, plug and charge, authorized use only, or no access. So we'll be able to specify, I believe within UID, who gets access to these devices. The reason why I think it's within UID, as we could see this Albert Smith, and then under assignments, and this is the dashboard for UID, and we could see add an EV station, to this person's profile. On the next screen, we can see that Albert Smith has been authorized to use three different electric vehicle chargers. On one of the last scenes, it's showing us what it looks like when it's charging. We can see the charge target, we can see the kilowatts it's using, the amperage and the volts, and the time remaining and the energy that was delivered. One interesting thing in this screenshot, we see the EV station, which we would expect, but then we see this talk. So to me, that is Unify Talk coming to a soft phone, through UID and I really hope that they push that out. Now, what do I think of the electric vehicle charger? Well, I think it's gonna be really great for businesses that are using EVs. Myself, I don't even have an electric vehicle and I've never driven in one, so I won't be doing a review on it. For management wise, I think it will be really easy to be able to assign different electric vehicle chargers to workers through UID. I've done some videos on UID and it's very easy to assign different things to different people. I also really like that Ubiquity is coming out with new things, but I do hope that they work on their Unify Network, Unify Talk, Unify Protect, and Unify Access a little bit more to push out things like Unify Talk to Canada and the EU. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the EV charger by Ubiquity. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.